uh, Friday, April 4th. April. We've had April showers here in California. Something we don't usually get, but luckily, this week, it's been raining all week. And uh, finally getting a little bit of water. I know everybody back east has had way more than they need, but uh, we've been hurting, as you probably know, if you've been watching my newscasts every week on sitting here in sunny days. But it's been dumping on us. I hope everything is fun and fine, wherever you are. Have just a couple things I want to go through today, let you know some of the stuff that happened this week, and some directions that I'm kind of excited about taking. Uh, I want to talk about, oh, got to always talk about my favorite songs. Hope everybody got a chance to check out that, uh, that live video of 1970 of, of uh, Chicago from Tanglewood. Um, Terry Kath is just in a league that is really small. Of, of people in, you know, of course, obviously a tragic story, but um, I, uh, I think if I, I, that's one of the reasons I probably didn't get into playing electric guitar, because I was not going to ever be Terry Kath. Sent, kept me in the acoustic direction. So, um, anyway, yeah, the, uh, to, to be really clear, so the song that started this whole mess for me was Undone by the Guess Who. Um, and subsequently, other songs have popped in, in, and I say, oh, that's another one. And of course, 25 or 6 to 4 is. And I have had a really good time looking at that thread. Um, it's a, just about everything that people put up there are songs that... Um, Especially when they get into the... Okay, but wait, I didn't I didn't come here to wander off on the guitar. Although, well, yeah, I guess I did. Um, why did I play... Oh, why did I play this at the beginning? Who knows? Uh, I wanted to tell you something about something kind of cool that happened last night. Wait, I should go through... I'll get back to that. Let me tell you what came out this week. Then I'll get to the fun stuff. Um, more of the reading music thing. I hope people are doing the, are, are learning how to read in the small doses and it's seeming a little less intimidating. So um, I really plan on bringing out more and more of this stuff and it's sort of opening the door to a pile of lessons that I have been trying to find an excuse to do. But I didn't want to get to this until do it from just notes and not tablature. That's going to be my goal with the classical pieces, is we're going to do them the traditional way. So Adelita, Lagrima, I will do my own take on Lagrima as we get to the key of E coming up. So anyway, what, what uh, we did this week was uh, a couple easy pieces in the key of G, and I have a, a cool one coming up. Oh, I shouldn't promise this, but I'm pretty sure I got one planned for, for uh, next week. It's, it's almost finished. Um, Another, another cool G one. And then we also looked at a very easy piece today, as a matter of fact, on Friday's agenda, was uh, uh, a little waltz in D by Karuli. This may be the end of the Karuli stuff. I like Karuli stuff for simple exercises, but it's not great literature. It's not stuff that... Like that. Anyway. Um, so uh, that, that may be the end of our Karuli stuff. We will look at Soar. It's 
somewhere down the line. But I have a lot more stuff on that in that direction. So that's a little bit of where I'm going in the future is I'm, I, I got to pile on more theory, technique, and reading stuff. So thanks to Karuli and his little short pieces from the early 1800s. Uh, what else did we have song-wise? Um, let me think. Oh, it was more the, uh, this. You know, a couple times we've done fly on the wall lessons that have, uh, that I think, wow, now that we've put this lesson out, I don't really need to do a lesson on the song. Everything you need to know about playing that song, ah, with that one, remember, I, I did add the attachment, so you've got the chord progression. And I've been having a really good time working with Sandy on that, and I think we might even have a little more, a few more installments of that coming up, because every week we make more progress on it. It's very cool. Um, also, Dr. Fuji finally got me to, to get back on the, um, well, I've been trying to do this. We just had, we actually had some technical problems with, with student reviews, and now they're, now they're all kind of back on, back on board. Um, but many of the ones that have been up have been so spectacular. Mark, I was going to get to reviewing yours, your strawberry fields, but I got to at least tell you a story about it. Um, my student Jake, who many of you, you might remember if you've seen old fly on the wall videos, he's a young adult. Um, what did we do? Marcy Playground. He was here and we did some Marcy Playground songs. Um, came in and played a couple of chords from the opening to Strawberry Fields. And I said, oh, let's work on this. And we dug up Mark's little performance of it and showed it to him that way. And I think we had some, some suggestions. I can't remember now. I'll have to go back to that. Anyway. Please try to get, let's, let's keep, get back in the upload, and ch upload channel because that's part of my New Year's, my new March, my April resolution. Um, okay, now what I was going to tell you about, I got a couple questions answered, a couple things on the forum that were kind of interesting. Uh, Scott, thanks for the pictures from Fez. That is um, exactly the way I would picture something that is 1,200 years old. Um, I don't know about going in there and, and uh, haggling with, with somebody over an instrument. Sounds a little intimidating, but I guess you get used to it, you know. So that was pretty cool. Uh, Bear had a question about camp, and I meant to, to do something on this, and that was about um, whether there's a plan yet for Sunday night. There is still there's still a lot of things up in the air about the camp as to what's going on, but I could pretty much say that I bet there would be something fun to do on Sunday night, even if there's not a concert around. I have a feeling there'll be enough people sticking around. Um, do it, you know, and it could just be dinner at the beach or a trip to the boardwalk or something like that. So, uh, without going too far out on a limb, I would, I would think if you could swing it work-wise and everything else, and have a Monday flight out, you probably have some, you probably have some fun Sunday night. So, uh, okay, that's it. I have, I want to talk a little bit about the hybrid picking thing because there was a great question there about songs that have and you guys you guys came up with the answers that I had it's the Greg Lake songs have the most use of hybrid picking in there um, you could try it with last train to Clarksville nail problems so that would be a good little run to practice the hybrid picking on the the lick from last train to Clarksville I gotta go work on these things been playing playing a lot lately and steel strings part of the classical guitar stuff that I'm working on I'm thinking about putting together a whole series of things about playing classical guitar on steel strings and kind of going against swimming against the flow here we'll see see what happens okay I have one more thing I want to tell you about and uh, oh let's keep that thread going for the things that you would never uh, you know about not changing the channel because there I just love some tunes in there the uh, uh, the Boston tune, the, oh, well, anyway, everything in there was just great to listen to. And um, what, my tie-in, one, one of the bands that has one of my all-time favorite songs. I messed around with that. Um, I had a really fun time last night with a longtime TG member who came by for a lesson. And it was Chan from the Philadelphia area on business and um, you know I love it when when folks from any part of the country that are not near here well there are people close to here too that have come Kurt is one you know just a couple hour drive for Kurt to come come down here to Los Gatos and, and have a lesson so um, but Chan was here yesterday being out here on business and we had a great time uh, working on 
a lot of theory stuff. This is what, and what I'm, this, this helps, is helping kind of like guide me into what I think um, I want to do more of, is there are a lot of people that can play a lot of stuff but don't quite understand, don't have a, a good enough grasp as to why, you know, this chord goes with that one or something like that. And, um, anyway, that's a little bit of what we ended up talking about, but we also got to talking about some fun songs and, uh, the one that came up was one I've been, I've started a lesson on this about five times and I keep getting sidetracked. Can you imagine that? And, um, it, it's still sitting in my pile. I've got a chart for it and everything else. And I keep thinking, you know, this is one of those that it's just, uh, other stuff kept getting in the way. But what I liked about Sandy's lesson, for example, now is I think, as Willem pointed out on the forum, I think there's a lesson for this. Well, no, there isn't like an official target lesson, but from Sandy's lesson, you should be able to figure out how to play the song. Same is true if, I'm not sure if the video from Chan's lesson came out, or I mean, if it, if it came out okay, I haven't looked, had a chance to check it out yet, but um, we got to working on Blue Sky, the Allman Brothers tune, and by the time he walked out of here, he could play it, and I think if we, if I put that up as a fly lesson, you'll be able to play it too. So it has a cool little lick in the beginning, but we really just... What, what, scale, E major scale up at the 7th fret, even mostly the pentatonic with a couple extra notes, you can sound just like Dickie Betts, especially the little jam part in that song is E's and A's, 3 or 4 minutes of this. So dig out E to Peach and jam along with Dickie and in the key of E. All of a sudden, I tried a different finger, but the pentatonic one works really well too. Okay, I think I gotta get out of here. Um, let me see. Should I play you out? Did I talk about everything I wanted to? I'll play a little bit more. The song that Tom asked about last week. It's dangerous. I haven't played it in a long time. Usual. This is Cobble Creek. in it. So it didn't really go anything like that, but something like that. Okay. Oh, that was my other little uh, plan, is I'm going to get to more original tunes too, because um, I'm finally starting to think that some of them are kind of fun to play. No, that's not one.
get this. Good, I'm done. That's the hard part. Okay. That's it for now. Oh, next week. Traveling. Got to go to the Al Stewart, St Al Stewart show. Um, may have to miss a week of news, so I'm sure you can find something to do. See ya.